What's up everybody, my name is Sebastian Bleak and in this video I'm going to show you what I do whenever one of my Adobe applications starts acting kind of funky. What I mean by that is if you notice some kind of glitches that weren't there in your previous sessions then it might be a preferences problem. Alright, so whenever you hear preferences maybe the first thing you do is hit Command K on a Mac, Control K on a PC and that'll bring up your preferences. Then we find this button over here that says Reset Preferences on Quit. All right, so I'm going to click on that button. Now Photoshop wants to know, are you sure you want to reset preferences when quitting Photoshop? I'm going to click OK. And then over here in the top right, I'll click OK to dismiss the preferences window. All right, now I'm ready to quit Photoshop. So I'm going to hit Command Q on a Mac, Control Q on a PC. Now we're not done. What I want to do is go through the uninstall process, then reinstall it. But there's going to be a couple things in there that I want you to be mindful of. All right, so I'm going to come back over here to the top, find my Creative Cloud application, scroll through, find the Adobe app that I want to pretty much fix. All right, over here, I'm going to click on this drop down menu, then choose Manage. All right, now I get some new options. This time, I'm going to click on Uninstall. Now, this is a window that I want you guys to pay close attention to. You might just want to click that big blue button that says, No, keep my app preferences. But what we're actually trying to do is remove the app preferences. So let's come over here to this little gray one where it says, yes, remove app preferences. When I click on that, then Photoshop is going to go through the uninstall process. All right, now we have uninstalled Adobe Photoshop. Now it's time to update it because we're about to reinstall Photoshop. All right, so I'm going to come over here, click update. Now, this is very important. Notice it says you're updating Photoshop CC. Some people might just click on the button that says update, but I want you to be mindful of what's actually happening in here. All right, I'm going to come over here, click on advanced options. Notice we got some little options over here. It says import previous settings and preferences. We do not want that. All right, so I'm going to uncheck that. And notice down here it says remove old versions. All right, so let's do that. I'm going to get rid of the old versions here and then update. When I click on update, the Creative Cloud application is going to go through the process for me. All right, so again, I'm going to go ahead and speed that up for us. All right, we're almost done, and boom, there we go. Now, we've successfully removed all of the old preferences, and I got rid of the older version of Photoshop. If you need to keep the older version of Photoshop on there, maybe you have some plugins that don't work on the latest version, then you might want to retain the older version just make sure you don't import the preferences from that older version and then everything should be alright now if you still have issues with your Adobe product after that I highly recommend checking out the Adobe forums asking questions there or if the problem persists then you might want to contact Adobe directly